First off, I'd like to apologize about feeling like this. I always apologize when I film screens. Um, it's the only way for me to really show you this uh, at this moment. Um, but there's a common misconception when it comes to HTML, especially when it comes to HTML5, uh, that um, games and other projects you make in HTML5 uh, need to be up on a server and, and uh, you need an internet connection for them. HTML and JavaScript are things that run locally on your system. I've made two links here. Uh, to two games that I've made. Uh, one's a piano game and one's uh, a pink elephant game. And um, I want to show you right now that my Wi-Fi is off. And I will uh, click here. Oops, wrong button. Click here. And I'll show you. Chrome isn't open, closed all. So now I'm going to open these games in Chrome. And I loaded them up previously and these games have a manifest file. So they are now, once they've been loaded in offline mode, I do not need an error connection. And as long as I don't clear out my browser cache, and this is doing this through the browser, um, you can see I can click on them. They have icons. Uh, it adds the default uh, fave icon for the page. So one looks like a piano and one looks like an elephant. And as you can see, it works just fine with no internet connection. And same with the pink elephants. I can click on that. It opens up Chrome, and you can see it. A blue elephant, a blue elephant, a red elephant. Again, sound, animations, everything, all in offline mode, no internet connection needed once the game is installed, uh, which is elephant. true with anything you're going to install from the internet. Uh, as long as the internet connection isn't needed, like you need to communicate with another computer, a server, um, it does not matter that you write games in HTML5 or any application in HTML5. There's no internet requirement for uh, developing in HTML5. It's just like most things, H the internet is the best way to distribute. And um, with HTML5, it's great people don't have to actually install anything. As long as they have a modern browser in, you just... Uh, you know, they load them up in there, and if you set your game to work in offline mode, as long as they don't clear out their cache, it's in offline mode. And of course you can package it to be distributed other ways, but it's more difficult that way. Uh, the quickest and simplest way is just to give someone a link and let them load it up. And then, like I said, after that point, there's no need for an internet connection. Now, if you were to update the game, you can set the manifest file to check for that. And if they are connected to the internet, and you add new features, um, they will have those new features without having to do anything and they will automatically be added to the offline mode. So I just wanted to clarify that because that's a very common misconception when it comes to writing programs with an HTML interface. Uh, and again, HTML is you know, plain text so it can be used for the front end of any programming language, uh, but it works great obviously with JavaScript since that's what JavaScript is really set to interface with. So I thank you for watching, as always. I hope you visit my website. That's filmsbychris.com. Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. If you enjoy my videos and tutorials and projects, be sure to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.